welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series uh last night or the, uh, early this morning actually we saw the what was anti-spam yes i think it was anti-spam outbound policy let's go to exchange no this one right here let's go to exchange and see what's next uh, it was under protection so mail flow so this is the mail flow rules um basically oh message trace this is i'm gonna learn this and then i'm gonna make it yep this is the one that i've been waiting for earlier when i made that video then i poked around a little bit more and i found all that fishing and quarantine so yes um i was excited um i saw all that but let's talk about the rules so mail flow is basically how mail uh, it's um it is simple you send a mail and you send mail to your friend and you send it and he receives it or he sends it and you receive it but uh, what happens during all those services that uh, servers like they're going in and out so that's why i just wanted to see the message trace and all that but the rule is same thing that is how we have control over like uh, in spam or malware we have a control if a certain condition is met and then that mail is delivered to junk mail or quarantine but what uh, we have a little bit more control on a user level uh, but each user has to do it uh, himself or herself for each time for example if email is from um, HR they put HR like make a folder and set up the settings or filters that if the email is from this name or this email address guest uh, it's stored in this folder and for supervisor from th for this folder manager this folder and team chat in this folder but that's like uh, each user has to do it over uh, one cell uh, if an admin wants to sort emails and apply rules to what to do and so exchange or or office 365 it gives you a little more control you see no rules are right here um, as of yet but uh, there are many so and they can be configured so we have like a create a new rule blank one like you uh, do everything so we're gonna make uh, this one but let's see what are the uh, what are uh, what are the others this is apply office 365 message encryption and write protection like if the message uh, like they can encrypt it so nobody else can see oh, and only on the other end the uh, decryption happens and then they can read the email otherwise when it's bunch of uh, n intangible uh, code and protect rights protection is like digital media rights so apply custom branding to ome message uh, custom branding like they want to add uh, you get sometimes you get that email where uh, you see the text but you don't see the um, like logos and pictures tiny pictures i mean click on it show me then then it shows up that company's uh, logo and pay you know all that information so what they do is because of this custom branding so they don't want to add that um, like attach pictures to each email sending out you see because they are storing that email as well so if uh, it's for example one megabit for i'm giving you an example normally it's going to be like in some kilobytes but let's say uh the picture is one megabits and 100 users send out email so each email message is going to have one megabits 100 megabits and if it's per hour so at the end of eight hours it's going to be 800 megabits so you see how quickly their servers or whatever their stress uh, um, will be clogged and it will be a pain for the exchange engine to process all the, that email as well so the branding works is they store one image just one or two or three whatever the image they want on that like a one hour here and the email 
maybe one on the side and one at the bottom so it's just three uh, three <coughs> excuse me just three images right but they this thing allows them to store it just in one tiny folder and link that email uh, image link to each email messages so now that image is not being uh, duplicated over and over again in e e all the emails it's just a link and the beauty of this thing is if they have to change the logo or you know make a new one or you know customize it seasonally they just change the that tiny image and it's changed everywhere apply disclaimers disclaimers is when you um, like that mess tiny message that's never changed it's always in that email it's not, I'm not talking about signature disclaimer is something like for example when you sign up a service or you buy something they send you confirmation and at the end of they say do not reply to this email this mailbox is unmonitored something like that right so that's a disclaimer we get email <coughs> another example is we get emails uh, for video like voluntary time off when it's not so busy we have uh, time in between calls so they send out an email say, that agents can have this between this to this time off if they would like so in that there is a disclaimer that uh, that is standard doesn't matter when they send email which says that if your shift does not end uh, uh, at or after that time do not uh, uh, apply for it and leave you can apply for it and just sit and after the time passes you can start working but it's just their way of saying that hey it doesn't mean that you get this free pass and you can leave home if for example your shift ends at uh, five o'clock in the evening and the video is only available until four o'clock so it's not like you can get the video and then you know for one hour you're not there no you're welcome to sit there until four and then start working for an hour or don't apply bypass spam filtering this is a rule like you will specify what emails are allowed that the fil spam filter is not applied to them filter messages by size this one is good one if uh, <coughs> you know if it's like uh, you want to see if it's the email is too big what's going on what's in that email um, oh, sorry this one the size generate an incident report when sens sensitive information is detected this is very important actually like uh, we, we work at your spectrum so sensitive information um, is like uh, this it could be like a user's uh, address uh, their account number and all that so if I you try to pass it through an email uh, it will detect a hey this is not normal or um, I don't know where I saw like it was something that was software related but yeah they are very um, the message popped I don't remember exactly what it was but it said something that it is detected um, I don't know what that user was doing but I saw that on one of the screen modify messages um, it's like if a message needs to be modified I never used it I'm not sure I'm gonna I should search it what is a modify message let me see all right so I'm really not sure I tried to quickly search it like what would be the modify messages I'm not sure but I look through in them yeah the settings are exactly the same like all these options in here and in here they are exactly the same so I'm just I think it's something like a, to give like it's a name restrict managers and their direct reports <laughs> and that's a good one like you want uh, control over managers okay restrict messages by senders or recipient this is a good one like you can restrict some of the send senders or intended recipients and you can restrict messages sent to or uh, received by them send messages to a moderator and this would be like if you want um, if a moderator is uh, you don't want him to be bothered he is off or you know he is you don't uh, he's on a special project and he will not be receiving emails for some time while he's doing that project so, for example he's on one team and then the business is being upgraded and he's put in with the business analyst team 
uh, to help them for like maybe two three months or however long that project is so you can use this so he's he's not receiving um, the emails uh, from whatever uh, his previous role was so you can focus on just the emails with related to that project send messages and save a coffee copy of for review this would be like again if you see so you actually see all, all exactly the same thing like options are exactly the same just the names are different so they are they have given you a bunch of um, like ideas and I would say ideas so we can like click anyone they're exactly the same I'm gonna go with the blank name default policy default so apply this rule in there the sender is if the email is from this sender or the recipient is the sender is located what's under the location inside the organization or outside that's the option the recipient is located if the email is being sent to somebody who is already a member of that organization or somebody outside like for example somebody sending to his personal email you want to uh, make sure that the sender is a member of a group uh, we have the IT department right here so he we could be more groups and each group has gets their own email address as well and the subject or body include oh, no what's that the other one the recipient same thing either sender or recipient same thing subject or body includes <coughs> so what are the options here add you can name a word or phrase if it's in the found in the subject or body the sender address you can put the address email address recipient email address <coughs> or it includes as well so for example word or phrase you put Macy's and if it is in there that email will it will be um, applied to that All right any attachments content includes again word or phrase whatever the, uh, they can scan the attachment as well the word documents so these are what if uh, if you do if you have done the C plus or any language uh, there they have a what if and then so if it's the if statement then do this forward the message for approval it can be sent to any of these guys and they approve it and then that email is released to uh, be sent redirect messages to again this one reject the reject the message with the explanation for example they found that uh, you are sending to somebody or you have um, a and like attachment or something that has a special word and you uh, you're using that to trigger the response you can um, reject the message and send them an explanation explanation it has the sensitive information please don't do this so you know it's just um, to give them an idea do not do this and you see it says enter a text so delete the message without notifying anyone just delete it BCC the message to again you select it and add it it's over there you click OK and it's there and finally append the disclaimer whatever the disclaimer is that is for example do not reply to this email right if you need help please contact support or you can put the reply to address yeah? and and fall back to action select one what will be the fallback you can ignore reject the email altogether or wrap so 
sorry about that so this is audit and uh, this rule with severity level it could be low medium <laughs> high audit is like uh, auditing like if this rule is working or not or all that like somebody will actually uh, look and see <clears throat> when if it's enforced strictly test or test without policy tips oh there is more options cool so let's see what I thought I was done well, my son is here and he wants me to play with him all right um, and oh this one is activate this rule so this would be helpful if the admin is setting this up um, right now and you know it's a new place or new policy and they want to be activated on the new year uh, today is 30th 30 December so for example they want it to be started activated by January 1st um, January 1st right at this time so you have uh, 30 minutes control or this policy if I don't select it deactivate so this is the policy you want it to run until a certain time and after that it will be obsolete it will be no longer required so you can do that you you know you don't have to go back and um, add it or delete it you just want it to be deactivated at the end of the time period stop processing more rules so this is I think that um, I'm really not sure what this is ah after this I think this is that until this rule has been processed stop processing other rules like uh, if this email uh, more rules applied to this email then this gets the priority i think this is the def defer the message if rule processing does not complete so this one is that <clears throat> if this rule is not processed for some reason exchange is taking too much time or you know uh, the process is halt just postpone this message do not let it pass through quarantine it or whatever match sender address in message this one is interesting either header envelope header or envelope so if anywhere it matches the sender address again do this so comment says i'm sh not sure but i think it's just uh, a tip or you know um, a helpful hint for the person who will uh, review this rule so we can cancel it oh actually we could add an shoot man I let's put default and apply this rule if the sender is again my name oh no wait, I have to uh, get somebody from this list or apply to all messages that this rule <clears throat> gets applied to everything and everything needs to be approval right or uh, everything needs to get the disclaimer added something like that all right so add the disclaimer where's the disclaimer append the disclaimer and the text let's do just an exam my typing is bad because the cable of my mic is in the way all right so we do that select one we wrap go with the wrap right and enforce it save it do you want this reply to all future messages yes and it should be there it should show up there so it's going through its the wheel of death somebody called 
uh, he called me and you know so he, he was actually calling about our email and okay so it's there so this is the default uh, now it's rule will be applied to everyone uh, we have an option to edit it we can copy it and you know if we copy it everything stays same and we can do like just the tweaks that we want let's delete if we want to delete it if there are more rules we can go put them up and down this one I believe rules match which is for email I think this would be if I select it uh, all the emails that matches this rule rule uh, will show up over here I think and this one is just a refresh so let's wear the yellow one this one continue no rules matched just not showing up everything that's what I think yep okay all right so I'm gonna just wrap this video here if it shows up I'm gonna make it please wait the wheel of death again okay see we do re request could not be completed try again in a few minutes I think it could be a latency issue and I am pretty sure that whatever I assumed is true because you see it's seven days 1430 or custom this is the selection date selection and it will show up here all the emails that this rule applied to all right so if this video helped you please rate comment share and subscribe and you have a good night. See you in the next video.